Hey guys, Dalton here, and you're watching another episode of DC Collects. Today, me and my fiance went to an antique shop, so naturally, I had to ask if they had any comics, and of course they did, so let's check them out, guys. First up, guys, we have the Incredible Hulk 313. It was the only Hulk in the pile, so I grabbed it. Definitely a cool looking cover. Not exactly sure who he's scrapping on the front there, but cool art nonetheless. And all of these books were in really good shape, so I couldn't I couldn't help myself. Yeah, really cool book. 1985 this one's from. So Pretty cool stuff. Found a couple Iron Mans. This is Iron Man 242. Super cool cover with the Mandarin on it. This is uh, basically the comic book version of the Mandarin. Much different than the MCU version, but still cool nonetheless. Again, really nice book in great shape. Super cool. Here's one that you don't see very often. So this is a Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider 15. But this book actually glows in the dark. So I thought that was super cool. It has another variant, but this one's black. The other one I think is brown. But always love Ghost Rider. I hope they do an MCU version soon. Because the Nick Cage Ghost Riders just aren't cutting it. <laughs> but yeah, super cool book, guys. Again, really great shape. This was another cool find. So this is the Uncanny X-Men 294. Sick artwork of Cable on the front. Cable was featured in the new newest Deadpool 2 movie. And this comic is actually still in its original packaging, and it comes with a trading card featuring Strife Strike File. So, pretty cool. This is also a 30th anniversary, so, book from 92. Again, really great shape. Especially since it's in its original packaging and it's got the backer board and the sleeve. So, super happy to find that. And then here we have a Daredevil, guys. Whoa. Slippery. Uh, Daredevil, as most of us will know, just appeared in the She-Hulk series. So, it's confirmed that he's going to be in the MCU. So... I'm sure these books will get a lot more popular. I just thought this was a cool cover with him with the axe. And yeah, Daredevil's always kind of been one of my favorites as well. I actually don't mind the Ben Affleck movie, but it's pretty old now and could definitely we could definitely use a new version, I I would say. Next up, we have another Iron Man. This is 210. Um, he's on the front. Namor is actually on the front there. Sorry, scratch that. I think that's Luke Cage. That's not Namor. Anyway, I thought that was a really interesting cover. Um, it was also, there was only three Iron Man books there, so I just grabbed them all. But again, these books are all in really great shape, this one included. Here's a really cool cover, guys. I just like uh, the Iron Man armor in this one. He's got that triangle-shaped reactor like he invents in the MCU movie Iron Man 2. So I'm assuming that's that suit 
which is pretty cool. Le love Iron Man. It would be sick to see Robert Downey Jr. come back and uh, reprise his role somehow. So sad when he died. <laughs> Here's a spectacular Spider-Man, guys. This one's a pretty cool issue. It's issue 158, but it's the first appearance of Cosmic Spider-Man. Cosmic Spider-Man's a, a, a variant, obviously, and I don't know if we'll ever see him in the MCU because he's super, super overpowered, so I don't know if he'll ever make it on screen, but still a cool book nonetheless. Then we got... A Doctor Strange issue 50. Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts. And I just thought this cover was just rad. <laughs> Psychedelic, baby. Yeah, I know. Super cool cover. Love the artwork. This is definitely one of the older books. 82, I believe. And this is a newsstand edition, so... That last Spider-Man one comic was a new stand edition as well, guys. So that was cool to get my hands on those. Another new stand edition. This one's Fantastic Four 329. And this has some super cool artwork on it. They're beating up the Mole Man. I'm not really sure why there's two things on this cover. I might have to read this book and find out. But... Super classic artwork. Mole man getting clobbered by the thing there. Yeah, I really like that book. Super cool. And then last up, guys, I really like this one. Another Fantastic Four, number 286. There's a special appearance by the Uncanny X-Men. And here you can see we got Phoenix here, uh, that She-Hulk, and of course some Fantastic Four members, but that was a really sick cover. Again, really nostalgic artwork, super, super awesome, love that book. But yeah, that was the entire pickup for today, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you've noticed any books that are keys or anything like that. I'm still not too sure about the hobby. Um, I'm very new to it. I'd like to learn a lot more, so leave anything down in the comments that you uh, think I might need to know about them. So with that being said, guys... If you could, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Not only will it tell YouTube to suggest more videos like this for you to watch, but it's also going to help my channel grow, so it'll help both of us. Thanks, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.